What's going on guys, John Elder here from Codemy.com and in this video, we're going to start to look at KiviMD for Kivi and Python. Alright guys, like I said, in this video, we're going to start to look at KiviMD, but before we get started, if you like this video and want to see more like it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out Codemy.com where I have dozens of courses with hundreds of videos that teach you to code. Use coupon code YouTube1 to get $30 off membership with all my courses, videos, and books for one time fee of just $49, which is insanely cheap. Okay, like I said, in this video, we're gonna start to look at Kivi MD, and we've got some construction going on outside. I don't know if you can hear it in the video, but if you can, I apologize. We're just gonna push through it and learn this stuff anyway. If there's, uh, it sounds like they're jackhammering concrete out there or something, I don't know what's going on, but I apologize for that. Hopefully you can't hear it. Hopefully I can edit some of it out, and uh, we're just gonna push on through. So Kivi MD, everyone's been asking me to do Kivi MD since I started doing Kivi, and there's a good reason. Kivi MD is awesome. If you're not familiar, Kivi MD, the MD stands for material design, and it is Google's sort of set of standards for how an app should look, right? So they have a bunch of guidance on what they think a good app is. They're the creators of Android. You know, if you want to create an Android app, you should probably follow their design guidelines, and that's what material design is. So somebody ported Google's MD, material design, for Kivi. And that's what we're going to start to look at. So if you're kind of curious about what material design is, you can go to Google's website, material.io forward slash design, and you can just sort of read about it. You can scroll through here and learn the things. And there's a menu you can look and, for instance, click on navigation. You want to learn how navigation should be. They've got diagrams and, you know, instructional things. And it's really pretty interesting. If you want to create apps like this using Kivi MD, I would suggest spending a little bit of time just reading through this website just to learn sort of what Google expects you to do with MD, with their material design stuff. So in this video, we're gonna install Kivi MD. We're gonna get it all set up and running. We're gonna build this kitchen sink app. It's a demo app that comes with it. And you can use this to play around with this and sort of see all of the different things you can do with Kivi MD. This is sort of like an app that has everything you can play with. So if you're interested in uh, drop down items, what do they look like in Kivi MD? They look like this, right? You can click on it and see. We can look at progress bars and sliders, different things you can do. See all these things move around, all right? Tabs, what tabs should look like. Text fields, different text fields you can use. It's very cool. And the thing about Kivi MD is it makes doing all these things super easy. You change the theme color, right? Elevation, drop shadows and things like that. We can look at cards, change the different things. See, it makes it sort of rounded versus square shadows very cool and a lot of fun so first off we need to download and install kivi md so just go to google and type in kivi md and the first thing that pops up is likely the thing you want it's the github page for kivi md so we can click on this and it's just github.com forward slash kivi md forward slash kivi md with you know capitalized there and you can come down here and read the installation instructions and uh read some of the documentation if you're interested I definitely recommend you check this out. We're going to get into all of this in the coming videos. In this video, we're really just going to touch on the basics here. In the next few videos, we're really going to dive into this, but I would still give this a look. So you can come down here and see how to install. Now, before we get started, there are a few dependencies you need. You need at least Kivi greater than 2.0. Remember, 2.0 just came out like a month ago or so. So make sure you have the latest version of Kivi. You also need at least Python 3.6 or up. I'm on, I think, 3.9, so we should be good there. You also need Pillow. Pillow is the Python image library module thing, library, I guess, and it allows us to deal with images and stuff. So you need these three things. So after that, we can just either install with a zip file, I don't recommend you do that, or you can come down here and do it manually. That's what we're gonna do right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy this, this first thing, and let's head over to our terminal. This is just the Git Bash terminal that we always use. If you don't have this, go to git-scm.com. That's git-scm.com. Download it for free. If you're on a Mac, you can just use the Mac terminal, but we're on Windows, so we're gonna use this. So the first thing we wanna do is make a new directory to hold all of our KVMD stuff. So I'm gonna go mkdir, short for make directory. I wanna put it in the C drive, and let's call this KVMD. Call it anything you want, really, but that makes sense. 
So now let's change into that directory, cd change directory, and let's go c slash kvmd. And you can see now we're in this directory. If we ls, there's nothing in here. So the first thing we always want to do with anything Python related is create a virtual environment. We want to install all of the things inside the virtual environment. We don't want to install this in our main computer, right? Every time you create a new project, you want to create a new virtual environment. So to do that, let's go Python dash M V E N V short for virtual environment. And then let's name this. I'm just going to call it vert short for virtual. And this should just take a second to spin up. Okay. If we ls, we see now there's this vert directory. So to turn on our virtual environment, we type source vert scripts and activate. If you're on a Mac, I think it's source bin scripts slash activate or source bin or source vert slash bin. You'll have to Google it or try one of those two things. Something like that will work if you're on a Mac and that's good to go. So now when we hit enter, we see this vert above our command prompt. That means our virtual environment has been turned on. So let's check and see what has been installed in our virtual environment. And we can do pip freeze to see what's in there. And it returns nothing because this is a brand new virtual environment. There's nothing in there yet. So remember, we need a few things. We need uh, the latest version of Kibi. We also need pillow. So let's go pip install pillow. And that's a capital P. And this will download and install pillow. All right, that looks good. Now let's go pip install Kivi. We want to install the latest version of Kivi. Should just take a second. You can see it's downloading and installing all kinds of things. And this usually takes a minute or so. Okay, now that's done. So now let's go pip freeze and see what's been installed. We've got a bunch of things, but most importantly, we do have Kivi version 2.0, and we also have Pillow version 8.1. If these versions are slightly different by the time you watch this video, no big deal. Just whatever the latest version is, that should be fine. So, okay, now remember, we were back over here on this web page. We copied this command. So now let's come back over here and paste that command in there. Okay, now when we ls, we can see we've got this kivi md directory. So the next instruction is to move into that directory. So we use the cd command again, and I can just paste this in. Okay, let me go ahead and clear the screen. And you'll see now we've got kivi md, some docs, and a setup.py file. So we're not installed yet. We still have to install kivi md. And to do that, we just type pip install period. Make sure you're in this directory when you do that, right? You have to be in this cvmd slash kivi md capitalized directory. So pip install period, we can do that. It's processing kivi md, installing build dependencies doing all the things shouldn't take but a few seconds and boom, we're done. So now we can clear and if we pip freeze again, we should see now Kivi MD. There it is. We've also got the pillow, we've also got the regular version of, and a bunch of other things that we probably need that were installed with either Kivi or Kivi MD. So now if we clear the screen and type in LS again, and you see we've got this demos folder. So let's move into there and see what's in there. So let's go CD demos. And okay, you can see right here, we're in that directory. So if I clear the screen and type in LS now, we see we have Crane, Fortnightly, Kitchen Sink, Rally, Shrine, and feel free definitely to look around and play with each of these things. We're gonna look at Kitchen Sink in this video. So we need to move into that directory. So I'll type CD Kitchen underscore Sink, and I just typed the K and then hit my tab button and it auto filled it in for me. So, okay, you see we're in the Kitchen Sink directory. So let's clear the screen again and see what we've got. We've got assets, we've got libs, usually stands for library. We've got a main.py file, we've got a readme file if you wanna read that, and a license, some other things. But this is the file we want. If we wanna run this thing, we have to run this file. And we know how to run Python files. We just type in Python and then the name of the file, and it shoots and it loads up. We can pull this over, and here is the kitchen sink app. This is the app we were looking at at the beginning of this video. It looks different because I changed the color in mine do that or not. And so we can click on this little hamburger here to get a menu. We can have the light version or the dark version, whichever you like. Oh, boy, the dark version, the light, the light version looks, yeah, that's weird. I click light and it made everything dark. So I don't know. <laughs> we can change the theme color, hey, pink <laughs> or teal, whatever you like. Look out of here. Now everything's teal. 
Blue gray, that's kind of cool. Yeah, kind of like that. Uh, you can see who the developers are. That's neat. Read the license. And then just sort of start playing around with all of these things. Click on them and see all of the things you can do. And the great thing about this is if you're building an app and you're not quite sure what a thing is going to look like, you could just pull this up and look and say, like, I need to use buttons. How does KVMD do buttons? Well, you can just sort of look through here and see, and then you can use this to Google how to do each of these things, right? These buttons don't actually do anything. But we're going to learn in the coming videos how to use all of these different things, right? So buttons, what else do we have? Bottom navigation. Oh, that's cool. A lot of mobile apps have bottom navigation. That's cool, even with a little icon. <laughs> see what else bottom sheets oh wow neat all kinds of cool stuff pop-up things and really I just recommend you spend an hour or so just fiddling around with this to see sort of make yourself familiar button speed dial oh this thing maybe interesting just like I said make yourself familiar with all of the things that are available all right we already looked at this one chips these little pill things interesting data tables, these check boxes and pagination. Very cool. And a lot of fun dialog boxes, simple, Oop. alert, confirmation. Oh, cool. Custom. So all the different things, drop down items. All right. Expansion panel. That's neat looking. Very cool. Image list, labels, regular lists. Very cool. Icons that come with MD. These are super useful. All right. Very cool. And that's all this app does. It just shows all the different things that come with Kivi MD. All right, so you're going to learn how to use all of these things as we continue on in this series, but it's nice to just kind of spend a few minutes playing around with them just to familiarize yourself. Ooh, tool tips. Love a good tool tip. <laughs> swiper. Image swiper. Very cool. And that's really all there is to it. We close this. If we want to come back over here and see the back of the directory. You can see there's a crane, fortnightly, rally, shrine. We want to CD into fortnightly. Python main.py. See what the heck this thing is. It's like a, a basic mobile app for a blog or something. Interesting. What else we got? CD back again. So let's CD crane, see what that one's all about. So let's go Python main.py. Uh oh, something's messed up there. So we have to look into that. No time for that now. We'll just move on to the next one rally. So CD rally. Python main.py. Pull this over. Oh, this is interesting. A login app. Password. Enter. Oh, wow, look. <laughs> I have money, apparently. A little budget app or something. Very cool. Awesome. And like I said, we'll probably dig into all of these in greater detail later if we want to maybe build something like this ourselves. Really just depends on what you guys want to do. Very cool. So what else? There was one more, right? Shrine. See what that one is. So Python main.py. Now that one didn't work either. It looks like maybe there's uh, other dependencies we need. We'll have to look into the documentation on that. But you get the idea. 
Download this, install it in your virtual environment, set it up, play around with the Kitchen Sink app, familiarize yourself with what is available. And if you have some spare time, head back over, read the Kivi MD documentation, but also come back here to this, this Google material design webpage and just sort of, you know, spend a good hour or so just looking through here and reading about all the different things. Typography, how do they expect you to do typography? Very interesting stuff. What else is there? Iconography, interaction, gestures. Very neat and uh, pretty cool. So that's all for this video. If you'd like to be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm and check out codemy.com where you can use coupon code YouTube1 to get $30 off memberships and pay just $49 to access all my courses, over 47 courses, hundreds of videos and the PDS of all my best-selling coding books. Join over 100,000 students learning to code just like you. My name is John Elder from codemy.com and I'll see you in the next video.